What valued Tainment and so many others, probably Dave Ramsey, I don't know, but so many others get wrong about Social Security. And I used to make this mistake too, um, <laughs> to my chagrin. And uh, you might be wondering, what is Valuetainment? Well, there's a channel that's got uh, three and a half million subscribers. And they did this video, um, how long ago, on Social Security a couple years ago, which is just, it's just wrong. And I'm not here to bash Valuetainment. I don't follow that much. Um, a couple of videos I like, but this one came across my feed recently simply because uh, I, I do a lot of videos on Social Security. So anything on social security that YouTube wants you to see, they're going to put it in front of you. The weird thing is this video is two years old, but it's only got 132,000 views on three and a half million subscribers. That's odd, but be it as it may. Why social security is broken, says this guy. And I'm not here to bash him. I'm just telling you, I actually don't watch that many financial videos. Um, most of it's just boring. Um, frankly, just most of it's just trite. It's, it's, it's either increasingly just, ah, we're going to die. Or it's just how you can, you know, make money on the 30-day moving ad. Just stupid. All right, so hey, we'll see what he says here. Because, you know, I, I uh, okay, yeah, we're not going to show much. Anyway, I'll, I'm not going to show the video. You're going to have to watch it yourself. But the premise here is this is a mistake everybody makes. All right, so 1935, when FDR signed the legislation for Social Security, the full retirement age back then was 65. Ironically, the average male only lived to his 60. The average female only lived until he was, she was 64. Thus, the average person didn't get Social Security is what is happening here. So 1935, your retirement age was 65, but you only lived to your 60. Thus, you paid taxes and you didn't get any Social Security. By design, based on the, uh, on the Kaiser uh, from the late 1800s uh, German uh, philosophy there. And this is what I used to say too. I used to preach this until I realized how stupid it was. Uh, then we keep going faster. If you're born in 19, I don't, this number doesn't make any sense. So this is the year. I'm not sure if this is the year of birth, 1965, because the year of birth, 1965, your full retirement age is 67. But the average life expectancy for a male, in, at, at, at this this chart is wrong. I, I don't get it. But B doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Because what happens here is he's using the tried and true. Like, if we use Social Security, where it's supposed to be, you should not get Social Security until you're 82. That's what his uh, fundamental thing is about Social Security, is that based on your average life expectancy and how long you're supposed to live, you should not get Social Security until you're 82, based on what FDR signed. It's it's just silly, man. And I'm going to prove it to you. It's easy to, to nip this in the bud. And this is the reason this stuff ticks me off is because it – it assumes Social Security A won't be there, and it's uh, it's it, look, Social Security is 100% a Ponzi scheme, my friends. 100% a legalized Ponzi scheme. The new entries pay the old recipients. That's all there is to it, man. There's, I mean, literally, the people coming in pay the new people, the old people who are in there. That's Ponzi scheme 101. You cannot have a better definition of Ponzi scheme. It is legalized. All right. In of itself, that's illegal if you were I were to do it. But because the federal government is doing it, it's legal. It's kind of like, you know, gambling at the um, the lottery. It's legalized gambling, running numbers legally. It shouldn't happen, but it is. All right. That doesn't in of itself mean it's going to uh, be corrupted or, or is going to fall apart. It doesn't mean that at all. In fact, if anything, because it's a Ponzi scheme, it means the taxpayers are going to be on the hook to provide the older entries, the people who have been paying into it, uh, they're guaranteed because remember, it's not a welfare, it's an entitled benefit. You're entitled to it because you paid into it, which is the critical thing. You paid into it, you are entitled into it, which is why these numbers are just silly. And I'm going to show you why. We're going to go back to the old tried and true society of actuaries. 1930, the eight right here, your life expectancy, if you were born at life expectancy at birth, was 60. All right, life expectancy at birth was 60. So we're going to go back here. Life expectancy, 60 for male. And this is in 1935, so we can adjust a little bit up. For male, 60. For women, 64. We can average, say, 62 is the average life expectancy, but Social Security doesn't kick in. Your full retirement age, you're 65. Thus, the average person won't get it. What's wrong with that? Well, the average person here, if you take away... Right here, this babies, the vast majority of deaths for earlier people who did not survive until they're 60 were babies. They never paid into the system to begin with. 
They never had an entitlement to the system because they paid no taxes for it. And I hate to say it because they died as babies. They had no awareness of Social Security. And I'm not trying to sound flippant. Social Security was completely irrelevant to them. They didn't pay into the system. They weren't entitled to get anything from the system because they died before they're at the age of paying into the system. I hope that makes sense. The only thing that's relevant with Social Security is the age that you start paying into the system where you can receive an entitlement. If you die before you you paid into it and you die before you receive the entitlement, that is that sucks. It sucks for you. However, the idea, the average person who paid into the system died before receiving their entitlement is just silly on his face because I'm going to show you. Here's a guy who's 40 years old. This is 1930. His life expectancy, if you could survive until you're 40, your life expectancy was 70 years old, which meant you had five years of receiving your entitlement of Social Security. So to sit there and say the average average life expectancy was 60, the average person didn't get it. Well, the average person, a significant amount of these people didn't pay into it anyway because they died at birth, man. Oh, it's so, it's just, it's, and if you can survive until you're 65, your life expectancy was 77. You have a So if you can survive until your full retirement age, you had 12 years on the, on the hook of social security. And that's in 1930. We go to 1940, all right, 1940. If you can survive until you're 45, your life expectancy was 71, which meant you had six years on the dole of Social Security. <laughs> if you could survive until your full retirement age, you live for 78 years. So the argument would actually be, was what is the life expectancy? We'll just say from people who are paying into it from 25 to 65. We're going to show you that here in just a second, because those are the people who paid into it, who actually lost money from Social Security. I hate to say it, these people didn't matter, the babies, because they didn't pay anything into it. Let's see what they say here. All right. In the first four decades of the 20th century, 80% of life expectancy improvements improved from reduced mortality for those below 45. <laughs> the bulk were these for infants and children. Who didn't pay into it? Uh, still a lot of young people dying, but fewer. Still the shape of the mountain at, after middle age isn't changing much, nor is it moving much to the right. It's just getting a little taller, but the spikes are getting closer and closer, inches, inches and inching to the right. Again, these people right here, the 80% of the life expectancy or improvements were those below the age of 45, the vast majority being for infants and children who never paid into this system. It's just so freaking stupid. All right, so let's go to 1960. Now he's saying the average life expectancy is 60, what do you say, was uh, 60, 60, 60. That's not, I don't get this, man. This doesn't make sense because the full retirement age in 1965 wasn't 67, it's still 65. Now, the forward time age, if you're born in 1965, is 67. But your life expectancy, if you're born in 1965, isn't 67. I just, oh, can we get our numbers right, man? I just, it, if you're going to bash Social Security, come at it with legitimacy to bash it. The legitimacy is the Ponzi scheme. You can make an argument that there's fewer and fewer people coming in to pay it for the older and older people. That's an argument you can make. I can quickly, debu- no, I can't debunk that argument. It's a legit argument to say, yeah, it's going to be on the taxpayer. They'll come out of general revenues. They're not taking away Social Security. It's idiotic to say that. Now, the wealthy, wealthy, wealthy might not get it. I, we can argue that all day long. If you think the three quarters of America who relies significantly on Social Security for their day-to-day income aren't going to get Social Security, you're freaking nuts, dudes. You're nuts. You don't understand how politics works. I'm just telling you right now. So you have the... the <laughs> you have the... Ah, you have the people... Let me just go back to it. Right here, 1960, the average life expectancy. During the 50s and 60s, life expectancy improvements were split evenly by age group. All right, for the first time, the peak is to the right of life expectancy for folks who make it to 65. At birth, your life expectancy was 70. At birth, at 40, your life expectancy was 74. So if you can make it to 40, you're going to be on the dole. And again, it's not a dole, it's it's an entitlement for nine years. At 65, your life expectancy was 79. So I don't know what this guy's talking about here with 66. It's just it's it's just freaking silly on its face. All right, so that doesn't convince you, huh? All right, let's see what else here. Let's keep going. That doesn't convince you. Let's keep going. So I'm going to show you here. Now we go to 2010. 
All right, so now the forward time at age is 67. The average life expectancy right here is at birth is 76. So what he is so again, what this guy is saying is because our average life expectancy is I don't know, 20 years above what it was back then, we should our full retirement age should be 82. And thus we're we're living on borrowed time with Social Security. It's I, I hate this crap. I hate it. I'm not hating on this guy. I just hate this false narrative when it comes to Social Security. It it just is wrong. All right, so here we're gonna say life expectancy by age. So if you made it, so basically we're gonna assume that very few people actually paid much into Social Security until they're 30 years old. Then they start paying into Social Security. All right. So if you made till 30 years old in 1929 and 1931, if you're, I think this is for white guys, white guys, how dare you white guys, the epitome of evil, evil white males. Oh, oh. If you can make, so right here, if you can make it till 30 and you're an evil white guy, your average life expectancy was another 38, uh, 39 years. All right. So if you're a white guy, you made it till you're 69 if you made it to your 30s. Thus. The average person received a social security benefit if they could make it until their 30s. If they could make it into their 20s, they still received a social security benefit because the average life expectancy for a 20 year old was still another 47 years for a white guy. For a white lady, it's even better, 1939. The average life expectancy for a white woman, those evil white ladies, don't they know there's no such thing as binary? Oh, 57 flavors. You made it to your 71, man. All right, so again, if you were 30 years old, a white woman in America, 1939 to 1941, you made it until your, uh, it's 20 years old, right? That's, I just say 20. If you made it, if you lived, made it to your 20 years old, your life expectancy in 1939 uh, to 1941 was 71 years old. You would have been on the Social Security rolls for six years. Your hubby, if you're married, would have been on the Social Security rolls for uh, 47 for uh, 67 for two years. So between you guys, you would have both made money on, so you would have both been in social security. Now you might not have made any money on it, but you both would have been in it. That's at 20. If you could have survived to your 30, your life expectancy was 70, roughly 70 for a male. Uh, and for a white female, it was uh, 72. So 71 on average, you would have had six years on average of social security benefits. Now, is that going to be enough to pay off what you put into it? I don't know. Don't care. But this whole thing that the average life expectancy is just stupid. All right. So now let's go to uh, all other males. And I'm not sure what this consists of. But right here, if you're 20 years old and you're an all other male, you survived another 40 years. You survived to your 60s. So the all other male, if you're 20, you did not make any money on Social Security. All other males, if you're, uh, and I'm not, let's say 32, you didn't make any money on Social Security. So all other males, black males basically here, the average death uh, life expectancy is only 62. So they made no money on Social Security. And that sucks, man. That You can make an argument that's absolutely discriminatory, horrible. And that is. Nothing to do about the past. But it doesn't change the fact that Social Security, certainly the average life expectancy, and this is if you survive to 30. If you survive to 40, uh, the average black male made a little bit, do, was able to get some on Social Security, not much, but he did make some. If you're a black woman, uh, you made at 40, you made two years of Social Security. So 100%. I mean, there's look, that shows about the discrimination and inequality of America back then. But doesn't change the fact that Social Security still paid the vast majority of people who put into it. Anyway, this happens all the time. Man. It drives you up the wall. So let's just go back to I don't know, 1990. And you can see here, I mean, this is, look, from 1901 to 1990, the, and this is at birth, I think, yeah, age zero right here. Let's just, let me just show you. The life expectancy for black, this is basically black men. If you were born in America and your average life expectancy at birth was 32 years old for a black male. Uh, in America, for a, a white, that was what, what year is that? 1900. For in America, for a, a white guy, your average life expectancy at birth was 48 years old. So you can see, and that's, I mean, I tell you, man, this, you know what that is. It's based on oppression of American blacks. I, you can't argue that. Man. That doesn't mean whites had it easy. Don't take this wrong. Oh, well, you're saying whites are new. No, I'm just saying whites had it better. It's fact. Anyway, so if you go down to, uh, so let's see. So uh, 19, uh, 1948, we go to 1990, 72. 
So that's what, 26 a year improvement for, for males, for white males. 26 divided by uh, 48. That's a 54% improvement for infants if you're white. If you're white male, you uh, your life expectancy increased by 54% from 1900 to 1990. If you're a black male, your life expectancy was 32 to 67. It more than doubled. Significant improvements on blacks' ability to survive infant mortality. Anyway, all right, that, everyone makes this mistake. It, it infuriates me. Don't do it. It's, it's, if you are watching this video, the likelihood of you dying before taking Social Security is so minute. It's not, this is why I say, oh, I got something on my eye. eyelash. Oh, I hate that. The point being, if you're not using Social Security and you're planning because it's because life expectancies or it's going to go bankrupt or you shouldn't get to your 82, you're freaking making a mistake, dudes. You're making a huge mistake. Why do that to yourself? All right. Love to hear your thoughts. We'll see you 